I would like to first start this video off with welcoming all my new subscribers and my new viewers to this channel, T-Man's channel, and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Well, the first thing that I did today was I reinforced the inside of the machine with, these, with this bar, and there's another one over here. I cut them at 24 inches, two feet, each one, and I measured from the top there down 13 inches and also I got the 40 series right here this torque converter it's bigger much bigger and it's heavy uh, and you can see the unboxing of that uh, at the end of this video I'll leave a link to the other video uh, of me unboxing this thing and it was kind of a chore I'm lining everything up or at least attempting to in previous videos I'd mentioned that this was a 13 horsepower engine. However, it's not. It's an 11 horsepower. It's an equivalent to an 11 horsepower engine. So, this torque converter should be able to handle it. Easy. The other build that I've been working on, if you guys haven't seen my other build, is I'm working on an off-road buggy type of thing right there. And I was hoping that I could set this thing up to the point to where I would have the engine with the torque converter and a little frame underneath it with handles in front and back of the engine so I could pick the engine up and the torque converter as one big unit. I could slide it into here and then all I'd have to do is hook up the chain and hook up the throttle. Then when I was done, I could unhook the throttle, unhook the chain, slide the whole thing off and then bring it up and slide it onto that machine. Unfortunately, the way I'm going to have that machine set up is different than what this one is. So, I'm going to have to build a setup for both machines independently. The frame that I would build for the engine would just be way too big for that machine that's up on, on the, up on the uh, table there. So, uh, I also, if you can see right in the middle of the screen there, that right there, is the mount that I redid for the shock. If you remember my previous video, I showed that the shock was offset a little bit. So I cut the mount off, moved it over, and then lined it up and then tacked it into place, took the shock back off, and then welded it solid. So that's all fixed up. Since my last video uploaded on this channel, I've actually been working on that machine. So I'm kind of teeter-tottering back and forth working on that machine and working on this one. And yeah, so that's where I'm at on this. And she's looking a lot more mean with that big engine in there. That's really kind of neat. Pretty happy about that. But I'm going to have to do a few things to this. I'm going to have to remove that. Uh, I got a piece of angle iron right there that was for the other engine. And since this engine's bolt patterns are different than my smaller engine, I'm going to have to redo uh, the rails that hold the engine plate up, and I'll have to build an entire plate for this engine. So I'm looking at a pretty good-sized chore here coming up. Uh, once I get all that all set up, I'm going to have to figure out my brakes. Uh, I want hydraulic brakes on this. I have two hydraulic brake setups left. I don't know if I should put one hydraulic brake set up on here for for an ATV. They're, they're pretty tough. Uh, I don't know if I want to put one or two brake you know brakes on here full setups. Two master cylinders, uh, two slaves and then uh, two actual discs on the thing too so I'm not really too sure but that's all I've got left now for my arsenal of go-kart parts and uh, I don't really know what to do here so yeah put two brakes on this remember this this machine as it sat was about 600 pounds a little over and I've just I'm gonna be adding this engine which its dry weight is 73 pounds and then I gotta put in a seat in there and then my weight you know that you were looking at about you know 8 850 here one brake or two brakes and they're standard ATV brakes. No car brakes or anything like that. I don't have any of that stuff. So I'm going to cover this up. It's starting to rain outside. I'm going to cover up the front end because I've got it sitting outside right now. 
and then hopefully tomorrow I'll probably come out here and clean up those welds a little bit and then spray paint it black. You know, the, the, the bars that I welded in there and that shock mount. And like I said, if you like the video, thumbs it up. If you like the content, that's cool. Post a comment down below if you think I should use one brake or two brakes on this thing. Yee. Share this video with your friends, thumbs it up, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.